I consider that I'm responsible for a whole new school of pretension. <laughs> that is great. I honestly, that is a good you see, I really, and I'm quite serious about that. The only thing that seems to shock anybody anymore is something that's pretentious. David Bowie, the ultimate tag along. That was an experience where David Bowie said, come spend weeks with me, you know? Let's, let's, let's do this right. And I'm gonna let you see everything. He says, you know, come by the studio, I'm making the Station to Station album. Sometimes the scene setting, particularly with a guy like David Bowie, is so powerful. You just want to put people there in that seat that you're lucky enough to be sitting in. I mean, David Bowie was the kind of guy who's very cinematic, you know, never just a rock star. I mean, he, he, he started in theater and staged himself. So if he says, meet me at the studio at a certain time, you'd walk in at that time, and he would be at the back of the studio room, under the perfect light, with his hat cocked in the perfect way, wearing the greatest things that would make you go, holy shit, that's David Bowie. And I will not forget that image. To be able to deliver to Rolling Stone something that like, you, you, you might have had to do a little John Kerry, you know, a little Secretary of State work to get there, but you were able to say, guys, I have it. And no one else got it which was always like a beautiful thing. I got the feedback from my friends and editors at the magazine that like, yes, there it is. That's, a, that's, that's you and that's him and that's the picture. To get someone to dig a little deeper than they usually do is the most fun for a journalist. In one of our first interviews, uh, it ended with me saying, um, how do you think you're gonna die? He told me that I will handle that situation in just the right way, and it will be not just a random event. It will be something that I present to you in a certain way. Which he did. That's just one of those things, it's like, man, when you get to write for Rolling Stone and you get invited into these lives of people that you're interested in, shit happens. And sometimes it's stuff that has reverberations that go on for years. Mm -hmm.